angle on the wood just like we showed before. And um, you know, you really you can make these any size you want. You've got you know, you got a square, uh, exactly. a square look. You know, you want to figure out what kind of an angle you want for your backrest. You know, because different people might like it back more with more pillows or steeper. And then after you figure that out, there's a uh, there's a there's a piece in here which you can't see because we have an arm on top. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see but it goes it. in here, yeah. and that's what supports okay. what you do is, since there's an angle here, and you've got this gap, you cut your wood a little bit longer, and then you come to this side. And it's angled, larger here, thinner there, and that's going to be... We're basically just laying it out, and we're thinking about maybe doing a different design and just a round. Um, we're going to go over some ideas of what kind of Things swirly or whatever on our arm. We are going to, um, so you've got this spacing here from yeah. the back piece. Mm -hmm. And if we just put our arm here, we've got a gap. Okay. So what we're going to do with the arm, and what I'm doing is, uh, it's basically... Cut out the block, you gotta, you know, you can't get your saw blade in there. So typically, you draw, uh, you, you gonna be using drill these? a little hole. And I want one and three quarters inch to match that side. Here's the finished couch without sanding or, or varnishing it or lacquering or whatever you feel like using. There's the finished product. With um, just a mattress and then some pillows. Stiff. These are really stiff pillows for now. And um, it sits pretty comfortable. Solid as a rock, solid wood.